the camp area. I don't remember its name again. Do you remember? Mm -mm. But it is beautiful. <laughs> it is by the lake uh, and it's at top so you can see the view but uh, we cannot because there's a storm right now. It is rainy and windy and cloudy so we cannot see anything. We are just stuck here inside this van and also our van is stuck here. It cannot move anywhere because we got into some muddy hole and we cannot move. I have no idea how we will go today or will we go anywhere at all. I don't know. So <coughs> let's enjoy the breakfast. <laughs> it is a lake view and uh, uh, Volcano Arenal. <laughs> uh -huh. Where is it? Uh, it is just right there. There. Can't you see it? Uh, I think no. No? Uh -uh. <laughs> We got what we came for. The rain is gone, the clothes are gone, and the view is very visible. This is our run. Moving out, we took our pictures, we had our breakfast and hopefully people will help us to uh, ride out from this mud. We are deep in the mud, not like too deep, but it's not going anywhere also. It was a lot of trouble to get the car out from the camping area but we made it with the help of nice people they had helped us a lot and we are on the way hopefully it's not gonna rain again We found street food by the lake of Arena Volcano, so we decided to stop and eat. Let's see how it is. Mm -hmm. so it I don't is remember how to eat it. Street food ceviche. It's I fish. Don't know. Should be no? Huh? Oh, there is no fish. It's vegetables. Yeah. Oh, no, fish, fish. fish? Okay, okay, this is you a fish. No? Good? <laughs> so you just dip the chips inside. Mm -hmm. As I remember, we ate it in Mexico last time, just one year ago, but I feel like it's kind of disturbed. Bon appetit! Mmm, it is very tasty. Tasty? I think I will go for one more. <laughs> All right. So we came to where? Hanging Bridge Park, Arenal. Yeah. Mystico. This is Arenal. Mystico. Uh -huh. <laughs> Arenal is behind us, and we will. I hope it's not like a hardcore hiking because we don't have much power for it. Not so about power. We don't have shoes. They are wet. Yeah. Also. From yesterday, so we are also, there stickers. is that. <laughs> uh, personally, I just want to see this hanging bridge, yeah, and I'll be satisfied. Yeah. Let's go. Where are we? We near a very beautiful mall.
mountain river on the camping near mm. near Rio. Rio Celeste. Yeah, we are somewhere near Rio Celeste. We were driving at wow, look at this bird. We were driving at night. We found some camping area and we decided to stay here and it looks like this. Always prepared for Ashton. good photos. Always. Make it higher, please. Higher? Yeah, it should be like straight. From here now we will drive to Rio Celeste waterfall. The weather is cloudy and rainy again. And I know driving at night was a bit depressive because there is just no light in anywhere and it is just complete darkness as much as you can see. But now actually it's so so okay. Just meteor holes on the road. Other than this, everything is fine. We are going. to Liberia. We are heading to Bungalow Hotel near this Rincon de la Vieja uh, National Park. It's already like evening and we are still driving and we are hungry. We are trying to reach but it's just 40 kilometers and it says it is 1 hour 24 minutes. But I say how beautiful it is here. It is very beautiful here. We are trying to go to our hotel in Rincon de la Vieja, but I think we need to pass a private property and I know what's going on, but I guess they are going to charge us for passing their property. Let's see. We passed this private property. Uh, I told that told that guy that I have a reservation in a hotel that's on this way. And he called the reception and na na na. And in the end, he just let me go. And I saved three dollars in this trip. And we are driving in a road which is like completely dark and. It is no man's land. It is completely dark and I don't know what would we do if the car is broken here. There is no internet, nothing, no light. Yeah. And we have one hour drive to reach hotel in a road like this. They are coming to the light maybe. I don't know. <sighs> this is what happened to us. This is a lake. We cannot return because there is no space to make maneuver. Let's see. Stuck. After these rangers helped us, it 
was I don't know if they don't help us what would we do. I have no idea but they helped us and we are back on the way again. So we are already out of our plan for the 15th time or something like this. And I think we will have a break here, drink coffee. again over and over again so how long we here like three hours maybe yeah we ride like one hour and stop for three hours already more waiting for the tractor good morning tonight we uh, stayed in a hotel uh, near Tenorio and there is a river like this in our hotel this is the color of the river We reached to the coastline. Reaching the coastline, the road was no different. Actually, it was maybe even worse. There were two big lakes, but we passed it with this van. We are uh, not in Flamingo Beach yet. We will follow this road, I think, for two minutes or something like this, and we will be in Flamingo Beach. Coastline, and this 
uh, beach towns are close to each other. It's uh, 30 minutes drive to Tamarinda and it's been already 15 minutes. I think soon we will be there and see how it is. Everything looks beautiful. Everything like looks nice. We want everything. everything. <laughs> we are moving away from Tomerindo. Uh, I think it was beautiful but overcrowded. And there were lots of activities and restaurants, cafes, bars and a lot of people. but. Yeah, as I said, it was overcrowded for us, for our taste, so we decided to move on. It's, I think, not a place to you know, get stuck there. But it was nice, beautiful shops. A lot of surf schools. Yeah, a lot of surf schools. But we didn't see much waves in the center. Yeah. Yeah, as I said, very touristic place. So we decided to move on. Now we are going to... Garza, I think. Um, I think the name is Garza. So let's see how it is. We have found this pillow bar and decided to check it and turns out that it's a very touristy place actually. Anna is already inside. So. I 
tarza. Uh, I watched the sunrise and Anna is still sleeping. I'm waiting for her. And we will keep moving to Monteverde after Anna wakes up. It will be our last day, uh, last full day with uh, camper van. Then we will give it back in San Jose and go to Santa Teresa for a surf vacation. By the way, the ocean was very wild that night. And it actually almost, this is the point it reached, it almost came to our van. I have a coconut to give Anna. I hope she will like my present. Of course, I have no idea how to crack it actually. Let's see. Do we have glass? Mm -hmm. No. No? We will drink some here. Uh, I feel it. It is. Uh, it wants to go out. Still on our way to uh, Monteverde. This time I asked the road to the people on the way because when you see like, too many holes, you have to ask people like, is this the right way? So we parked here to have a break because we didn't have breakfast as well. So we will have a breakfast in with this beautiful view and continue our way. break mm. on our way to Monteverde mm. we found this nice coffee plantation okay. <laughs> thank you we will have our breakfast now and continue our way We are having our lunch now at this viewpoint. Let me show you around.
Good morning from our tent day. We are in San Jose. Uh, we draw here from uh, Monteverde in the evening and we camped in San Jose. Today we will uh, take a bus to Santa Teresa and we will stay there for 24 days, I think. Yeah? yeah. And have a surf vacation. And we have coconut from Garza. Garza. Garza, yeah. We will drink it. Yeah. Coconut all the way from Garza to San Jose. We will it and go to bus station to take a bus to Santa Teresa. And see you later. 